Hey, what's up? Alex here. Today we are going to look at this cute little robot by a company called Switchboard. This product is not something new. In fact, it has been around for about a year. But what I'm going to look at is how is this product in 2021 and whether this product has a part to play in my smart home setup. Typically for all smart home products, they will require you to replace what you are currently using because the smart home capability is actually just a hardware chip installed inside the product itself. But for SwitchBot, they look at things from another way by not changing or disrupting to what you already have. Instead, they create these robots that act like a human hand to do that pressing action for you. Let me do a quick demo to show you. This is the robot. They will have this uh, cute little arm that comes out and push the button. It can be used for any switch, like your light switches or the water heater switch. So it's like an alternative to smart switches, especially if you don't want to go through the trouble of doing rewiring. First on the app, you need to change the robot mode, this way, and change it to switch mode. This means that your switch board is now able to do the push and pull action with this sticker itself. Now let's take a closer look. When you want to on the switch, the robot will push. When you want to off the switch, the robot will pull it back this way. So that works perfectly well, simple and easy. It's up to your imagination now. Anything that requires a push to a button, like to press the power button on my PC, this can be very useful when you want to access your computer when you are not home. For example, in office, you can ask the robot to switch this on, then you can use any remote desktop software to then access your computer. In this case, you want to switch the robot mode to press mode, and in both modes, you can actually set a press and hold duration if required. So now let's close up and see how it works. Another good usage is at kitchen appliance. Remember in my smart plug video, I mentioned that there's one very important requirement is that the device cannot have an additional step to turn on or off. So with SwitchBot, it can potentially solve this problem. Some of the examples are coffee machine and rice cooker. Unfortunately, I don't have any of this at home. So I will look around the house and see what I can possibly use it for. Setup is very easy and straightforward. Anyway, you can always refer to the product manual inside the box which has a step-by-step -step guide to it. So I'm not going to waste time showing this, but instead I'm going to talk about how the connectivity works. Once you got your switchboard, the first thing you want to do is go to your app store and download the switchboard mobile app. Then inside the app, you want to create a user account and set up the device. This will be via the Bluetooth connection. Then you can then set some schedule and some settings to the switchboard. Whichever schedule that you have set for the switchboard, it will be stored inside this switchboard locally. Which means that even without the mobile app, without your handphone, the switchboard can still function normally based on the schedule that is already been configured to it. So now from the app, you are able to control the switchboard. So let me show you. Just tap on this. The switchboard will be activated. So this is the first way of controlling and triggering your switchboard. The next way is using this kind of remote. I really like this kind of wireless switch concept. I find it really very handy because you can literally put it anywhere on the table. You can put it underneath the table, stick it underneath the table, or you can stick it on some wall or something. So to trigger off this, just simply click on this. Then the robot will be triggered as well. So this is the next way using remote. But of course, before doing this, you need to have this added inside your SwitchBot app. Then the remote will control the SwitchBot via Bluetooth as well. Next, you must be wondering, so everything is via Bluetooth. So what happens if you are outside the Bluetooth range, then how do you still control your switchboard? That's when you need a device called the hub. So for switchboard solution, they offer two choices, two options for the hub. 
The first one is this Hub Mini. This Hub Mini is very small and it has a very simple look. So if you want to hide it somewhere or even put it on a table or stick it on some wall, it's still quite okay looking. The other option is this one. This hub that has a shape of a cloud and from the video you cannot see it very clearly but it has a very nice rainbow light circling around the cloud. So this looks very cool to me. I will even buy this and put it as a decorative item on my desk. So you have these two options, both has the same function. So with this hub, it will then connect to your Wi-Fi. And this Wi-Fi will connect to the SwitchBot server. So what happens when you are outside using data connection or a mobile app? Your SwitchBot mobile app will connect to the SwitchBot server. And from the SwitchBot server, it will reach the hub via your home Wi-Fi. And the hub will trigger your SwitchBot using Bluetooth as well. And also with this hub, you can now trigger your robot via voice assistance. So for voice assistance, you can be either using Google or Amazon. So let me show you on my Google app. So this is my Google Home. I have uh, this called Black Robot. So to trigger this, it will be something like, okay, Google, turn on Black Robot. What is my opinion of this product and whether I'll recommend it? So if you're staying in a rental apartment or in a hostel or staying with your parents where changing light switches is not an option, then SwitchBot is a good solution for you. But if you bought a new house and it's going to have an electrician to help you do the wiring for the entire house for you, then I'll recommend smart light switches. Aesthetically, it's not going to look very nice to have the bot on every switch unless you just want to have a few smart lights or if you're like still unsure about having a smart home and sort of just want to try things out then you can try SwitchBot first even if you're like me already have smart light switches for almost the entire house there's still a couple of things where you can make use of this SwitchBot because what they are able to do here is something very unique inside the smart home world SwitchBot as a company is also trying to expand their products in the smart home space they came up with their own thermostat and humidity sensor and also an actual humidifier. Singapore's weather might not benefit too much from these items, but if you like to switch on long hours of AC, especially overnight sleeping or for the kids' room, then you are of course able to set some automation rules like whenever it reaches a certain temperature or humidity level, then switch on the humidifier and switch off the AC. The hub doubles as an RR blaster as well, so you can use the hub to control your RR devices. For me, I really like the cloud-shaped hub. It looks so nice as a decorative item sitting on my desk. But I would hope that it is able to sort of synchronize with the current weather, or at least the time of the day to change color. So if it's raining, it will be this dark cloud. If it's bright sunny, then it will be this white cloud or this rainbow cloud. This should be quite achievable in the software, so hopefully they add this in. Time for the giveaway announcement. As mentioned in my community post, there will be a total of 3 winners. Each winner will be able to get 2 of these robots, one black and one white. And you'll also be able to get one hub mini, which enables you to connect to your voice assistant and is also an R blaster. Besides that, you also have a thermostat with a humidity sensor. All you need to do is simply subscribe to the channel, give this video a like, and leave a comment, that's all. You can share why you like to have this SwitchBot if you want. Thank you SwitchBot for sponsoring this giveaway, and of course, thanks to you for watching till the end. Bye, and I'll see you again next week.